Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. Let's discuss the branched hydrocarbons nomenclature. So here are some steps. First is you find the longest chain. The longest chain and there is a rule that the longest chain should have the maximum number of multiple bonds and functional groups. Functional group is something which we will learn later now, so you can ignore this part now. Which should have maximum number of multiple bonds. That is the first thing. It has maximum number of carbon atoms and maximum number of multiple bonds. That is the main longest chain, right? That's something you define. That's a critical step. The first step is you define the maximum the chain which has the maximum number of carbon atoms and the maximum number of multiple bonds. Once you have done that, you have to find the uh, identify the functional group of the paint hydrocarbon. This also you can ignore now because sometimes it happens that it has multiple functional groups. So you have to find which functional group you are looking for. So in class 10th, this is you can something ignore this. So you'll get only one functional group. So in case you have multiple functional groups, then you need to identify the functional group that is based on the priority. So you can ignore this part now, but you should remember that this is something which exists, but we're ignoring this since we're in class 10. And then you find the alkyl groups separately because they are uh, will be a chain kind of thing, right? Will there will be side chains, and you have to mark them and name them separately. Then you have to uh, name the longest chain. You have this longest chain. You have to number it. You have to number it in such a way that alkyl group gets the lowest number. I'll take some examples to understand this. Just I'm going through the steps. It gets the lowest number, and once I have the lowest number, the position of alkyl group is indicated. For example, maybe two, three, five depending on the case and then I have this format of the hydrocarbon that is position ending of the alkyl group in the ascending order that is if I have both methyl and ethyl group let's suppose right so E comes first so ethyl will come first and then methyl will come correct hope you understand this because E and M this is in the ascending order so position and the name of the alkyl group in the ascending order comma parent hydrocarbon this is my format please note remember this this is critical position and name of the alkyl group example it may be 2 ethyl 3 methyl and some hydrocarbon uh, uh, maybe let's suppose uh, pentane or something right or pentene depending on whether this double or single bond so this is my parent this is my parent chain this is my parent chain Correct. So the first thing is you have to identify the longest chain which contains the maximum carbon atoms and the maximum number of multiple bonds. Once you are done with that, ignore the second step now, ignore it. The second is uh, for you is uh, you find the alkyl groups and you, because there will be a side chain, then you give the number to it to make sure that the alkyl groups get the lowest numbers and then you have the position of the alkyl group and then use the format to write this name. The format is position and name of alkyl group in ascending order in case you have multiple alkyl groups, comma, parent, hydrocarbon. For example, this one we have, right? What is the longest chain we can have? If you start from here, 1, 2, 3 is one chain. 1, 2, 3 is one chain, right? 1, 2, 3 is one chain. So they are only, I mean, there are three chains, but the maximum number is three only. Correct? So my longest chain has three carbons. So let's assume that this is my longest chain. I'll assume this is my parent chain now. Correct? Now I have to name it. This guy one, two or three. Or I can also use one, two or three. Anything. I can name from here. I can number from here. Both ways fine. Any way is fine, right? But I'll tell you which one to pick. So let's assume both case now. So I'll take this is my case one, case A and this guy is case B. So I'll take case A first. So I have my chain, right? There is no double bond, so ignore that part also. There's a longest chain. And this is my extra thing, right? My side chain. So this guy is methyl. Now if I assume in this fashion, this becomes 2 methyl because this guy is linked to this carbon now. And this carbon is named 2. So this will be 2 methyl. Correct? And my parent carbon has three. So three is what? Meth, eth, prop. Correct. 
and all single bonds so it will be propane hope you understand this you name like this 1 to 3 i'll take the case b also you 1 to 3 this methyl is methyl because it is ch3 i told uh, is alkyl actually you remove one hydrogen from methane and becomes methyl this becomes methyl it is in second position so 2 methyl and my parent chain was propane so 2 methyl propane if i take case b in this way numbering in this way this guy is 2 right so here also the name will be same because this guy is 2 in this fashion 2 methyl propane so you take any of these case you get the same answer so both are correct in some case you get one here you get two here then you take one one i'll take that example also but now for this case you get same in both as okay uh, same as i put the case you can take any of these so the name of these guys two methyl propane but let's take this guy so longest chain will have how many one two three four so if you see this is the maximum i can have the longest chain even if i take this guy one two three four chain it is four only so i'll take this guy as a chain i'll number this one two three four in one fashion i can number this one two three four another fashion this is my case a and this is my case b correct so now if you see i'm taking the case a first on second carbon there is a methyl group attached if you see so it is two this group is methyl so methyl my branch now uh, my parent chain has four carbon atoms so meth eth pro but and all single bonds butane that is one possibility if you take the case b case b if you take so my one two three this carbon methyl is attached to third carbon so it is three this attached is methyl and my chain is butane so which one to take three methyl butane or two methyl butane so i'll take this why this because the rule says that you have to number in such way that my alkyl group, that is methyl group, gets the lowest number. So if I number in this fashion, my alkyl group got the number 2. If I name in this fashion, my alkyl group got the number 3. So I will not go for this, I will go for this. So this is my answer. Hope you understand this. The rule is, you find the, you name this longest chain, the parent chain such with that, your methyl group or your the, the, the side chains get, the alkyl groups get the lowest number. So in this case, I got two, I got three. So I won't take this, I'll take this. So I'll make sure that I follow this naming convention. Let's take one more example. I have this kind of structure. So if you see the longest can have, if you take this guy also, it can have three here. If you take start from here, three. If you take this guy also, three. This guy also, three. So the maximum chain you can get is three, right? See, from if here, if you start, three or three or three only three you start from here also three 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 start from here three 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 so you start from anywhere the maximum you can get is three so let me assume this is my parent chain just for simplicity because it looks straight correct now if you see uh, i'll name it one two three i'll also name it one two three this is my case a this is my case b correct now if you see on second carbon, there are two methyls. So instead of methyl, I use dimethyl. Right? So it is two, two dimethyl. Because the same methyl is at two places, right? Methyl, methyl. So I'll use dimethyl. And both are at two position, two dimethyl. And my longest chain is one to three carbon. That is pro. All single bonds. So A. So this is 2 to dimethyl propane. Correct how? My longest chain is 3 pro. All single bonds A in propane. There are 2 methyls, dimethyls, and both at position 2. I'll take the case B. Case B also, if you see, this carbon atom is number 2 only. So this will also come out to be 2 to dimethyl propane. So both are same, so I can take any of these and both are same answer. Correct? How you got it understood? You first find the longest chain, then you find this methyl groups. There are two methyl groups, dimethyl. Both are linked to second carbon, two group. Correct? Let's take an example. So here we have 
the longest chain will have one, two, three, four carbon. Looks like four only. Yeah. You take any chain. You start from here. You take this chain also four. You take this chain also four. The maximum it can have is four carbon atoms. Also, since it has double bond, I have to make sure the double bond is part of longest chain. Yes, double bond is part of longest chain. So my double, my longest chain is formed. My fifty percent of the problem is solved. Correct. Now let me name it. This guy is one, two, three, four carbons. Or other option I have is four, three, two. This is my case A, case B. Now if you see there is a methyl group here. There is a methyl group here, right? So I have something called dimethyl. What is the position of the methyl group? In this case, it is two two. In case A, this is carbon two. In this case. Two to dimethyl. My now branch, valent branch is one, two, three, four carbon. So four is viewed, and since there is a double bond, it should be in, not in. This is my plan. Let's try the second case. So in this case, again also I have two methyl, so it is dimethyl. But the number will change. In this case, my carbon is three. This carbon is three. Correct. This carbon number is three in this case. Right in this case it was two. In this case it is three. So it is three three dimethyl. So it's still the same beauty. Now if you see it is three three it is two two. I'll not take this. I'll take this. Why? Because the convention says the 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 number order which gives a lower number of the alkyl group will be taken. So I'll take this, and that is my answer. Correct. Let's take this example. We have to again find the nomenclature. If you see, what is the longest chain? One, two, three, four. Can I make a bigger chain? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I can make. So if I take this chain, this is my bigger chain. Five carbon atoms. It has double bond also. So this is my bigger chain. Let me name it. I can name it this way also. One, two, three, four, five. That's my case A. So let me write for the case A. What is the name here? So if you take case A, you see that there is a methyl group here attached. Correct. So there is a methyl group. Only one methyl group. If you see, other are part of chain. And number at three. So three methyl. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll take the parent now. Parent has five, so it is pent. And there is a double bond here, so it is pent. T. Now let's take the case B. Case B, I'll assume numbering to be in this fashion. Uh, I'll remove this guy so that you don't get confused now. I'll assume that this is one, this is two, this carbon is three, this guy is four, this guy is five. Here also I'll see that there's a methyl group attached, and this carbon is named three only. In this case also, this is three methyl, and my this guy is pentene. My branch. My parent chain is pentene, you know, correct? So in both cases, I'm getting the same answer. So my answer is three methyl pentene. So hope you understand with these uh, many examples how to name your uh, uh, branched hydrocarbons. You first thing is you have to find the parent chain that contains all the multiple bonds, and that should be the longest one. Once you are done with that, 50% of the problem is solved, and then you find uh, you take the parent chain and you find the extra methyl group attached. And then you write this methyl group and this this parent one, and then you have a naming thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You just name in the uh, ascending order. You can take two uh, two way. You start from this end or you start from this end. You write for both. The one which get the lowered number of this value is the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.